In 2017, Princess Cruises hired me to shoot still images and videos on the Silk Road journey, a 49-day cruise from Rome to Shanghai. I brought along my buddy Yuri as an assistant and a music composer for the project. I tried daily vlogging at the time, but our days were already super packed and I had to edit and deliver content for the client as a priority. We shot with Michelin chefs, met an NBA player, and traveled to 15 countries. What I want to do now is take a look at the footage and share with you the process of what it is to shoot and produce content on a cruise ship, with its limitations and being in a bubble for two months. Hello everybody, and welcome back. Today, day 32, we are in Bangkok in Thailand, one of my favorite cities in the world. Back in 2013 and 2014, I traveled to Southeast Asia for six months, so I know the city pretty well, and it was great to be back. The port we arrived in was a little far from Bangkok, so the first thing we did was get on a bus for two hours to get to the capital city. <laughs> so many! You from France too? Yeah. Ali, Ali. Ali, Ali. Ali, Ali, Ali. We're in Thailand! What's the name of the port? What's the name of the port here? Lam Shabang. We're in Lam Shabang yes. in Thailand, and now we're gonna start this day with two and a half hours of bus ride. Wow. Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> Our guide was hilarious, and we got to see a lot of the scenery, which was really cool. Welcome everyone for Bangkok on your own. Okay, today is is me that you have to create or what you going what what you want to do by your own. You have any idea where you want to go? No. <laughs> I don't. So okay, uh, Bangkok is quite big. Yeah, I tell you, right now we want to travel. Okay, it's quite big right now. You know, because of things. And we got five tones. Eh, 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 eh. My name is on the fourth. Okay. <laughs> I don't know whether it's difficult for you or not. And maybe catch up on a little sleep, which was also nice. A lot of people will skip Bangkok and go straight to, straight to the Thai beaches, but I think it's one of the coolest cities in Southeast Asia. Also, one of my really good friends, Sata, from university, uh, is from there. So this is a perfect chance to go meet up with him. We're back in Bangkok, baby! And Bangkok also has some of the best street food in the world. Some say the best. So I definitely never skip this city, and I'm always super excited to go back. We're in the street food capital of the world, I think. So look forward to a lot of food! It was really hot and we decided to meet up with Sata for coffee before we got our day started off. Yo Sati, see what's going on? Yo, oh my god! Yo, we're in Bangkok, day 32, look at this kid. I just saw this guy a month ago, Chicago. <laughs> We had a lot of work to do, a lot of places to go get footage for our videos. So we met up with Sata in a mall, in a cool coffee shop, just to touch base, say hi. And we were off uh, to see the National Palace and get our, uh, get the classic Bangkok shots for our client.
really, really hot, as I said, and we were lugging around a lot of gear. And it was, we're finding that it's pretty difficult, and we realized that we hadn't had a lot of water. So we're getting dehydrated, low on energy, uh, but we managed to get all our shots, and it was beautiful. Uh, we were there in the hottest part of the day, uh, between 11 and 3 or 2 p.m., I think, so that didn't help out. But as soon as we got rehydrated, everything went well. got all the temples done and now we have to get the grand palace and then the reclining buddha and then we're out of here I'm trying to stay cool here <laughs> Mandatory water break because it's 35 degrees and we didn't drink anything, so we got right. You know what? Water is the most important thing in the world. Stay hydrated, people. We're back on track. Better than coffee. So after getting our shots and actually uh, seeing Chuck Liddell, uh, M former MMA uh, star, winning in line, true story, we went to meet up with Sata again uh, to get a bite to eat. <laughs> we struggled to find Sata. And we're starting to get a little uh, frustrated with the whole experience. Literally three minutes away from South Taiwan, we can't find him. But we we found him, and it was well worth it because the place he brought us to is really cool, uh, delicious food, and a great view. <laughs> That was a rush, man. We asked, we asked about 30 people where we're going, yeah. and everyone's like, "This way, this way, the completely opposite way." Let's chug a beer here. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs> Cheers. I guess this is the end of our Bangkok trip. <laughs> oh my god, it's like rush. Oh, all right, signing off from Bangkok. Thank you, Sata. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> As usual, we were running super late. It's kind of a trend on this trip, but you have to maximize our time out there in each destination. So after eating and grabbing a beer with Sata, catching up, we got back in a tuk-tuk and sped back to the meeting point to catch our bus, because we had another two-hour bus ride waiting for us. Sata's negotiating the tuk-tuk. That's all I have. Another reason why I love Bangkok is you can get around in tuk-tuks a lot. So we took tuk-tuks to get around everywhere, and it was great. The Bangkok subway system is incredible, but going around tuk-tuk is really good for footage and just to get a feel for the, the frenzy of this crazy Southeast Asian metropolis. Hey, we're taking a tuk-tuk back! Oh, you should take here because it's like the grill. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay. Oh, Satak on the middle. <laughs> All right, and now we're hobbling us in the tuk tuk to get back to the bus. Two and a half hour ride back to get to the ship. Yo, this is fully, we'll make it. This is Bangkok Express. <laughs> <laughs>
a picture of my big ass nose. Yeah, don't do it. So we did not have the chance to get street food this time but there was no way I was leaving Bangkok without grabbing a few snacks for the road. So even though we were super late and both Sata and Yuri getting kind of nervous, I stepped into a 7-Eleven and grabbed a bunch of Thai snacks because we had a few days at sea coming up. Holy shit, almost there. <laughs> All right, just a quick pit stop at 7-Eleven. <laughs> what a trip. <laughs> Yuri thanked me later because it was well worth it. Just getting some quick groceries. Bye, Sata. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. Quick, quick excursion to uh, Bangkok uh, today. Uh, with those four hours on the bus, it really cut our time short. Oh, yeah, where? It's a hidden place. Oh. It's not. <laughs> Don't blackmail me. No. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy. Just, just from my memory. You crazy. Oh, Oto, really? Oto, you don't know it? Otoka. Otoka. I, I, I think I must know, but it's the accent, you, the, the way you yeah, my, a tone is different from me. <laughs> Otoka. Yeah, I don't know the five tones yet. Otoka. <laughs> what is that? I think we maximized our time there. We got good footage for the client, met up with a good friend from university, and got some snacks. So I hope you enjoyed that day in Bangkok. Uh, and if you did, feel free to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when that next video is coming up. And also feel free to follow me on Instagram where I posted a photo every day during the journey and where I still post every day on my current travels. Thanks for tuning in. And as usual, I'll see you for the next one.